Hello guys, um, I'm gonna try to be short with this one, but I wanted to show you uh, my Mac Mini from 2012 and I would like to discuss a few things while I'm trying to upgrade it. So I really love this, I think it has been a year since I got it and it was amazing. It does exactly what I need to be doing. I keep a lot of software I use for my repairs on it and it has been just pleasant experience and it also has windows which helps a lot and of course it's easily upgradable or repairable everything is held by like few screws and few clips so it's perfect machine at least for me when i got it i just added more ram and i upgraded the ssd but now I've already filled up the SSD, so I'm planning to add a second one. And again, this is quite easy process. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of videos on YouTube. And it's also cheap, a lot cheaper than the upgrades on the newer Macs, where the SSD is soldered on, or maybe you have to buy expensive uh, SSD. And as I'll show you, you'll see that that's not the case here. The SSD um, I got for like uh, I think 20 bucks and the SSD cables kit I got for 10. The kit contains few things but most importantly the connection from the SSD to the mainboard. Just note that there are two different cables. One goes on the top and one goes on the bottom. So if you already have one hard drive installed um, check what cable you're using so you can get the other one. Um, I bought the kit with the two cables because I want to keep a spare one. Uh, maybe you won't need it, but I decided just to have one for just because. A while ago, I did a short video on how to replace the SSD or upgrade it without disconnecting anything. So I'll leave a link in the description. However, here I can't just insert the new additional SSD, I have to disassemble the Mac. Look how dusty is my current SSD. Got to clean that up before inserting the new one. Now you will see why I can't just plug in the new SSD. Even though I'm connecting the cable, I just can't fit it because the main board is actually in the way. So I need to take out the board and the power supply. After that, it's quite straightforward. I just uh, put the SSD inside this frame and the other one will sit on top of it. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the end of support for Windows 10 and the end of support for uh, most of the Intel Macs. A lot of older devices won't be able to get Windows 11 normal way and a lot of Intel Macs will be just discarded. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get newer and faster device but don't just throw away devices such as the one I'm using. You can find a way to repurpose it and make it usable because they still have a lot of life in them and also you'll save a lot of money. For now, my Mac Mini will have options such as Linux and I also have OpenCore Legacy Patcher to get the newer version of Mac OS. I will continue to use this iMac until literally the wheels fell off. So tell me, what do you think? What do you think will happen with all those old devices that are no longer supported? I think we should save the environment and save our pockets. So there are plenty of solutions on how to deal with this, but I want to hear what's your opinion, how you're going to keep your old device. Thank you for watching and see you next time.